morning. This is a really quick video regarding Bose uh, AWRCC2, I think. If not, I'll have to correct it. I got this thing from the Goodwill, and it had the flashing please wait issue. And I'm, I didn't film it before fixing it, so I can't really show you it. But what would happen is you'd turn it on, and it would come on, and you would try to do something like load a CD or uh, switch over to FM or AM or anything, and it would basically reset. It would go back to... showing please wait and then uh, wouldn't do anything if you waited 10 15 20 30 minutes and came back eventually it you could turn on the radio or uh, possibly play a CD I didn't actually try to do that before I fixed it and uh, I found some information about that it was possibly bad capacitors. And so I ordered up all the capacitors. Uh, went through this thing and figured out how many capacitors of, e of each type I would need. Some of them I replaced with regular through-hole most of them I replaced with SMD capacitors. Um, it was a pain in the butt. The uh, capacitors, uh, basically uh, trying to desolder them was, was, was pointless. I found that you just you could just twist them off or even just pull them off. And in many cases, they would pull the, uh, the trace or the... Uh, capacitor leads off the circuit board but it would not pull the traces off in fact the only trace that i ended up pulling off was when i was messing with a through hole capacitor that i had soldered onto the top of the board i was trying to move it out of the way and it ripped the uh trace off the board I uh, was able to fix it by tracing where that trace had gone to and soldering the lead to that, that point. Um, once I had replaced what I thought was all the capacitors, I found that it was still doing it. And that's because I had not replaced the capacitors that were inside the silver box in the picture you see on your screen now. Uh, you have to remove the cap off that box and there's several capacitors in there. I have a feeling that if I had just replaced those the, the player or the radio would have worked but I didn't try to do that first. This, these are the capacitors, all of them, there's over 50, uh, total price to, to do this, I, I picked up this for $9.49 and the total price was a little over $30 to fix it. Would have been cheaper, but I had apparently accidentally when I did my order with DigiKey, I forgot to order some stuff, and uh, because I didn't want to do another DigiKey order, I ordered some stuff from eBay and probably paid too much for it. But anyways, uh, I will put the uh, uh, the list of the capacitors that are needed, and 
uh, how much I paid for them and the total cost and all that at the end of the video. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that this list is accurate, so I would recommend you order extra um, capacitors than you need. The uh, other thing was that I had to use solder paste. I tried using regular solder and I just was having too much trouble with it. Um, I just ended up doing solder paste and dabbing tiny little bits on the pads. I didn't remove the old solder or anything like that. And uh, basically, once I had all the capacitors replaced, uh, except for the two giant ones on the board, I didn't replace those. Those were fine. Uh, once I had replaced all of them, and it worked fine. Um, as you can see here. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching.